And now for something mildly distinct. Hello, I... <clears throat> Hi, I'm Taylor. In a few moments, you'll be transported to a music cafe in the early 60s, where you'll hear a man who may or may not be Morgan Freeman, as well as generous musical artists and arts workers performing my album's credits as little pieces of sonic art. Now, why, you may ask? First of all, it makes them entertaining, hopefully. Secondly, streaming services tend to only list a sliver of the credits that truly go into making a piece of music, which just isn't fair to those involved. You know, much like they tend to only pay musicians a sliver of what they deserve for their songs, which also isn't fair, but hey, just sell merch instead or make a Patreon. Who cares if we're doing something unethical? Now dance, monkey! Dance! <clears throat> Excuse me. Art and commerce have always had an awkward balance, and while I love and hate streaming, to me it's like the music business is a snake slowly eating its own tail. It's, it's a more complicated subject than I should get into here, but I've collected a bunch of resources where you can learn more about the problem and how to be part of the solution at taylorabrahams.ca. I also encourage you, if you're an artist, to include a special audio track on streaming platforms with your music's credits how the music streaming industry takes advantage of you and the artists you love, and what people can do about it. A sort of a musical Trojan horse, if you will. And make noise if they take it down. For now, I hope you'll enjoy this COVID-inspired act of pure strangeness and fun, an excuse to connect with people during COVID and do something together. On another level, a battle cry to create a system that allows artists on the margins to have a fair shake at being the kinds of artists they deserve to be. Not just for them, for the integrity of songwriting, musicianship, and creativity itself. I believe a world where artists suffer is eventually a world where everyone does. But that's enough of me. Now here's more of me. Or skip to Morgan, he's in three minutes. Hello, hello. This is Taylor Abrahams in Greenwich Village. It's 1962, or at least it may as well be, because hindsight is 2020. Thank you, pre recorded snaps of me, because I am so lonely. This Spanish flu plus 102 we're going through has got me blue, but I must say it's groovy to be here. Thanks very much for listening to my virtual LP. I do hope you'll recall that besides maybe Bandcamp, streaming kind of sucks. Just, just, just a bit. Just, a, just a, maybe a, a, a sliver of a cent per stream doesn't make... Cent? Thank you. The puns only get worse. But there is a cure for what ails you pearl diving, gin milling, x-ray speckled, made to feel like used to bees. Because you know what's slated for crash fill. This immaculate vocal frying talking about bones. Baby voiced, overcalculated, oversaturated, overdramatic minimalist because they're forced into poverty and or apathy. But pretending it was a creative choice mixed bag of a festering zit of a 2020 music industry. Oh yeah. You round pegs who pop like a sequoia for a world where true, uncompromised self-expression through recorded music can be sustainable. We decide the future. With our wallets and with our voice. All you need to do is create and consume and support the work that speaks to you. Make your personal music bubble. Feed that bubble. And that bubble will become a world, baby. If you... Dig what I'm putting down. Go to my website. Sing it to me, clones. Where I've cataloged a bunch of people fighting the good fight who you can support and where you can support me as well. It means I can keep supporting some of the amazing folks that helped me make this ridiculously ambitious debut album possible. Thank you to everyone who helped for indulging someone foolish enough to basically try to make the sequel to Pet Sounds as their debut! <sighs> Last thing 
before we get to the bonus tracks. Because streaming services barely list any of the credits, unlike the vastly superior minidisc, I want to say, it can be hard to know who did what on an album. So, I decided to set a new precedent to help make this right. The full credits are also on my website. However, for the ear aficionados, I told you they get worse. Sit back, relax, smoke a J, and enjoy this cafe musical and spoken word performance of the album's credits by a slew of gracious talent. Anyway, ladies, gentlemen, non-binary, guinea pigs, please welcome a man who may or may not be Morgan Freeman! Oh, and I'll read some special thanks at the end of the next track. Sorry. <coughs> Hello. This is Morgan Freeman. Honored, humbled, and slightly confused to be here on this historic night. Taylor, give me some mood. Oh, yeah. To keep this behemoth shorter, we'll start with some overall credits that are consistent across the record, unless otherwise stated. General album credits, yeah, yeah. Cover photography by Joel Esposito. All songs written by Taylor Abrahams, produced by Eddie Kramer, with additional production by Taylor Abrahams. Mastering was by Juon Carvalho. Spectral repair was by Jono Grant. Uh, by the way, here's a little thing Jono sent me when I asked him if he wanted to read a credit. Hey there, Taylor, why don't you send me one of your credits to read in my vocoder, please? Anyway, this record was edited by Taylor Abrahams. Pre-production. Pre-production recording happened at Silverthorne Studios in Jam Space, Toronto. Engineered and mixed by Mariana Hutton and Taylor Abrahams. Bed tracking. <laughs> Bed tracking for I Won't Put Up With It and I Don't Care Anymore were recorded at Sound Emporium, Nashville, Tennessee. Produced by Fred Mullen. Engineered by Teenage Dave Sally and assistant engineered by Zach Pancoast. Bed tracking for the rest of the songs was at Revolution Recording, Toronto. Engineered by Eddie Kramer. Assistant engineered by Kevin Lipset and Luke Schindler. Overdubbing. Overdub recording was at Silverthorne Studios, Toronto. And engineered on various occasions by Eddie Kramer, Taylor Abrahams, Taylor Kernahan, Jason Burgos, Patrick Bardos, Mariana Hutton, Andre Doucette, Kevin Lipset, and Greg Kolchensky. Assisted by Gemma Mazza, Mike Belinsky, Luke Chiazen, Kyle Gamble, and Jacob Spitzer. Are we done? No, we're not, apparently. Additional overdub recording at Elmo Studio B was engineered by Eddie Kramer. Assisted by Andre Doucette and Clifton David Broadbridge. Mixing! Mixing at Elmo Studio B was by Eddie Kramer. Assisted by Andre Doucette and Clifton David Broadbridge. Mixing at Silverthorne Studios was by Eddie Kramer, Taylor Kernahan, Taylor Abrahams, Patrick Rickshaw Bardos, Jason Burgos, and Mariana Hutton. Thanks so much, Captain Morgan. You think I'm Captain Morgan? Like the spiced rum? Uh, no, 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 I, I meant... Well, guess what, Chode? I've got a bomb. A metaphorical bomb. Morgan Freeman was played by me, Wesley Griffin. The mystique is broken. Find me on Facebook at the magic voice of Mr. Griff.